the best way to eat galbachine is with rice and kimchi. This is my dried shiitake mushrooms. I'm gonna soak it in some water. We're gonna leave this soaking for two or three hours. You guys know what my husband always tells me? He tells me that it's called choice because you have the choice to buy prime. But I really didn't have a choice to buy prime. I only had the choice to... I don't even think this is choice. This is beef short ribs. We're making cabbage which is Korean braised short ribs. I trimmed off all the excess fat on my short rib and now I'm just going to soak it in some water for a couple of hours, making sure to switch out the water a couple times. Our mushrooms have been sitting for some time. Now I'm just going to squeeze out any excess water. They look like this. We're going to set this off to the side. Measure out two cups of this mushroom water. You can discard this. Into our blender, we're going to add our mushroom water. A Korean or Asian pear, but since I don't have any, I'm going to use an apple. A yellow onion. They slid on. And then blend! I'm gonna transfer this to a bowl so it's easier to work with. To this, I'm gonna add some soy sauce, sugar, sesame oil. Oh my gosh, I almost overflowed. Minced garlic and black pepper. Mix this all up. I forgot to film this, but after your ribs have been sitting in some water for some time, the water's gonna look bloody, it's gonna look murky, it's gonna look dirty. Just rinse it and discard the water. Add your ribs into a big enough pot and fill it with fresh, clean water. Now we're going to turn the heat to high and quickly blanch this. This is what it's looking like so far. We're not turning off the heat quite yet. Right about now is when I'm gonna turn off my heat. This water looks questionable as hell. Rinse and drain this under cold water. Get a beef facial. All the lot of this is the best steam to get a facial with. So rinse your beef under cold water. Make sure you get the bone. Now I'm gonna add my beef ribs back into my pot. This pot is clean. Remember this liquid mixture? Well, I'm gonna pour it in right on top. Turn my heat to high. Once it starts to boil, reduce your heat and simmer for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the rest of my ingredients. For my mushrooms, I'm going to cut them in half. The bigger ones, you can cut them into quarters. If you have radish, it'll be better, but since I don't have any, I'm going to use potatoes. I'm going to leave them in water until I need to add them into my pot so they don't brown. Scallion, I'm going to cut about two inches wide. After it's been simmering, we're going to add our mushrooms, carrots, potatoes, and scallion. You see how it's starting to bubble? I'm going to reduce my heat and simmer for one hour. It's been cooking for 15 minutes. I'm gonna give this a quick mix. I would mix this about every 15 minutes or so. This is what it looks like after I mix it. Now I'm gonna cover and continue to simmer. I'll show you guys what this looks like, but it has been simmering for one hour. Now we're gonna add some rice syrup. If you don't have rice syrup, you can use another sweetener like honey. I don't wanna like that. That's sweet. This next ingredient is optional. This is jujubes. You don't have to add this. You can if you want. I buy it already de-seeded. This is what it looks like after the rice syrup and the jujubes are in. Now I'm going to cover and simmer for another 10 minutes. This is what it looks like after it's been simmering for 10 minutes. Now we're going to crank our heat to high. We're going to baste this for about 5 minutes. Now you want to just top it off with some scallion and some sesame seeds. Bon appetit.